Hey everyone, this is Jake with Mind Over Mind, and today I'm going to be reviewing Akir, the creature of fire. Without any further ado, let's begin. And this is it, Akir, Creature of Fire. Now, when I was initially building this set, uh, before I had attached the wings, I was thinking, okay, this is a $10 set. This set is tiny. Sure, it's complex, but it is small. And then I built the wings. And the wings are so cool, and they really add just a massive presence to this set. It, it's intimidating, it's, it's awesome and it has an awesome wingspan. I mean, look at this. It has two ball joints on either side and you can pose the wings however you want. You can even move these up or down. And I like to have them so there's an equal space between each, I guess, fire feather or something. I don't know how, what you call it. Um, but look at this. I mean, if you move them both forward, this this set is, is pretty great. I. I like it aesthetically, the color scheme is fantastic, the mechanic is great, or the little subtle things that go into the set, the little complex elements that are in there. The function is cool, when you bring this backwards, it flaps its wings, look at that. That's like, that's insane. This reminds me of like old school Bionicle stuff. Really harkens back to the old Rahi. I really like this stuff, I love the gear function. The headpiece, how it's gold, fades into this neon color. Everything is how I wished it would be, and it is. It's very cool. It really fulfills uh, what I was hoping and expecting from the set. Of course, it comes with a shadow trap as well, with these uh, neon translucent orange pieces, and a blue eye on the front. Of course, it has a uh, function where it opens and closes the trap, which gives it a little bit more expression, not only in posing, but it also gives it a function where you can latch these onto one of the creatures. And it drags it down and it waits for Umarak to retrieve the creature. I think it's a very cool uh, story element and th to think that these things are alive, man, these things are terrifying. I would not want one of these things coming after me. What do you guys think though? Do you prefer the skull spiders or the shadow traps? I'm pretty indifferent about both of them, but I think I just like something about the shadow traps. They, they seem cool to me, although they can't fit on the Toa's face anymore. It's just an imposing threat. I think these are, these are pretty genius and, uh, and nifty. So what do you guys think? But back to Akira though, although the function's very cool, I have to look at this thing objectively without any bias or anything. Even though I love this color scheme and everything like that, I have to really look at it with a fresh mind. So, posability wise, uh, there are two ball joints on the leg uh, with only one bone piece. And I feel like for this set, it works. Usually I like to have, you know, the, the two joints, uh, or three joints at least, but in this case, it's a bird. It doesn't really need that many, and it doesn't need to have any longer legs. These back talons fold back and forth, so you have that option when you, um, pose this thing, not only does it move up and down like this, but the talon itself can pivot on its own accord as well. So I usually keep them flat like that and uh, bring the talon slightly down to make contact with the ground there. It has these two front talons as well, uh, the same translucent orange piece. I think it looks great on the uh, gray accenting foot piece. Then there's the uh, gold chest piece, which uh, is the centerfold of the set, followed up by this uh, golden head. Now at first I was thinking, you know, these sets are pretty cheap for using the same exact head on all six creatures. But after seeing them, yes, it is kind of disappointing to have the same head six times, just in different color uh, schemes or, or color variations. I do like the head itself, the piece is nice. Uh, I like the little, the little eye indentations right here just showing that this thing I, I don't know what to think of it is it blind does it are those the actual eyes that it sees out of like I, I hope that they will, will explain that maybe they, they see through sonar or something we don't know um, but I like the runes as well uh, there's some uh, insignias on there and I think it looks nice 
As for the wings, I think they were constructed fairly well. Uh, I like how these uh, pieces were used, I guess, to, to form a trifecta of, of, I guess, fire feathers. Uh, and the way they come together is awesome. I like how there are these ball joints right here that move back and forth. And it looks, uh, it looks not only nice, but it gives the, the set a long range of, uh, of, of motion, and not only motion, but posability. I guess posability comes with motion. Uh, the fire tail, or golden tail on the back, uh, is the only thing that I think is awkward about this set. I think it's a little bit clunky, uh, and even though it looks pretty good, um, I think when you bring it all the way down, it's going to be kind of running into the, 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 the grounds there, or the shelf, whatever you have it on. So if you want uh, the, the here to have his wings all the way forward, you're going to have to do that with this piece up. And you're just going to have to bring the ball joints, or use the ball joints to bring the, the wings up. Of course it can't go as far forward this way as when you actually bring that piece down, but you know what, it, you can make do. The other thing I don't quite like is the uh, ball joints here. They're a little bit exposed. Of course, that was a big problem with Bionicle 2015, uh, but with the, with the Toa sets. But here I think it can be excused just a little bit because uh, it is a smaller set and I really can't think of a way that they could have you know, avoided that problem without making a brand new body mold altogether or you know, a piece that branches off to limbs and arms and everything like that. I don't know how they could have accomplished that, but uh, in a perfect world, I just wish that those ball joints weren't there, or at least weren't exposed in the way they are currently. You can get a cure into many different poses uh, using all of the uh, things provided that LEGO has put into the set. Here I have them in a pecking motion. I just thought it was pretty cool. The wings are backwards in a kind of uh, resting position. And I just think there's a lot of uh, expression to be had in this set. And I definitely think it's one of the better creature sets. If you decide to pick up uh, your first creature set, I would either recommend this one or the Creature of Water, Akita. I think that one is pretty great too. Anyways, this has been Jake with Mind Over Mind reviewing Akir, the Creature of Fire. Do you like this set? Do you want it? Do you already have it? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.